Good morning, and welcome to Hymns by Request. I'm Greg Johnson, and I'm coming to you live from New York City, where every Thursday at 11 o'clock in the morning, we tape Hymns by Request. So I welcome you to my home, and I welcome you to the piano, and this time of just fun. As I remind you, this is not a concert, this is not a formal uh, recital, this is simply sitting at the piano, friends with friends, singing some very popular hymns that have been requested. And I want to thank you all for sending in requests, because that's a wonderful way of being able to sing hymns that mean a great deal to you, and I learn new things each and every time. In fact, the song we're beginning with this morning was requested, oh, months and months ago, by someone from California, and it was a song I really didn't know, but now I do, and I love it very much. So it's wonderful to have you with us. Don't worry about the words. Don't worry if you vocalized. Don't worry about anything. That's what this is about. It's just a chance to sing and to have some fun. So let's begin. And it's truly true here in New York. There is sunshine in my soul today. There is sunshine in my soul today. More glorious and bright that glows in any earthly sky. There is sunshine in my soul. Let's take that chorus again. Oh, there's sunshine, beautiful sunshine, when the peaceful, happy moments roll. When Jesus shows his smiling face, there is sunshine in my soul. that and I I thank our good friend from Palm Springs for requesting that song now a lovely prayer Spirit of God descend upon my heart what a wonderful text and as is always true hymns become wonderful gateways to prayer often when we're feeling less than ourselves feeling less than we'd like to feel if we can just be still, you will be amazed how hymns will come to you. I know I do that often, and it can lead me back into a centering and a place where I want to be, where I am back in touch with that spirit of the divine. Spirit of God, descend upon my heart. Spirit of God, descend upon my heart. Lead it from earth through all its pulses. My dear Lord, and make me love thee as I ought to love. Teach me to feel that thou art always. And then, as I 
selected that hymn this week for us to uh, to sing, Spirit of God, descend upon my heart. I turned the page, and there was one that has been requested by several people, Ethel from the United Kingdom, and also two people from uh, South Africa wrote in, asking, my faith looks up to thee. special. In fact, we're going to be singing it at the first hymn at the memorial service on September 11th that we're having for our beloved Marie Thompson. And the opening hymn will be Blessed Assurance. This is my sto song, this is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. So let's start with the chorus, do the verse, and then back to the chorus. And you're sounding good. Yes, I can hear you. Of course I can. I love those vibrations. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Blessed Fortunately, had uh, hymns that are both in sharps and flats. You know, those make a difference in the the sound and the tenor. Uh, some can be far more solemn keys. Some are much brighter keys, and they go along with the texts. Uh, the composers, as they worked with lyricists, sometimes they were the same, sometimes they were not. Uh, looked at what keys they were using. Pay a little attention to that. You might be surprised. And you don't need to know a lot about music to do that. It's just the tenor, and I don't mean soprano alto tenor, but the feeling, the sound that it gives is one that's lighter, brighter, or darker, and more solemn. Okay, and this one is a very bright tune, Jesus, thy boundless love to me. Lord, let thy love my heart and flame. 
Jesus, thy boundless love to me. No thought can reach, no tongue declare. Omit me of my thankful heart and reign without a rival there. Thy glory, thine alone I am. Lord, let thy love my heart inflame. Still let thy love point out my way, how wondrous things thy love has wrought. Still lead me lest I go astray, direct my word, inspire my thought. And if I Oh yes, hear thy voice and know that love is near. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends, and it is so. And this morning, I'm going to conclude our time together with a very, very special song, one that probably I'm asked to sing more often than any. And I want you to join me with it. Amazing Grace. We're going to do uh, two of the verses, actually three verses. And then on the fourth verse, it is simply praise God, praise God, praise God. And let that be our mission. Let that be our calling. And let that be our blessing for the week until we meet once again. Amazing Grace. Here we go.
praise God, praise God, praise God. And I praise God for each and every one of you, thanking you for joining me each week and for sharing this broadcast with your friends. It was designed from its very beginning to just be a moment of relaxation, a moment to center us, using songs and hymns that have been precious to all of us in various ways and at different times in our lives. So please, if there's a hymn that you would like for me to share, simply send me an email. It's very simple. It's Greg Johnson, all small case, Greg Johnson at gjp-international.com. Once again, Greg Johnson at gjp-international.com. Dot com. And until I see you next week, have a wonderful week. Keep songs and hymns in your hearts. And as we always say, onward in love and caregiving. Namaste. God bless you. I'll see you real soon. Thank you.